SR, BG, and the destruction of the NPC breeding grounds, man. Sodom and Gomorrah all day long. I'm going to explain that. I'm going to explain the destruction that you are witnessing and why. But first, check this out, man. Everybody that I'm about to name has been taken out within the last six months, man. I remember when I was young, it'll be a famous person, probably two, leaving every year. But now, man, check this out, right? We got Joe Bryan as Kobe Bryant's father. We got Beat King, James Earl Jones, Tito Jackson, Matumbo, Fat Man Scoop, Rich Homie Quan. We got Pete Ross, the baseball player. We got WWE's Sid Justice. We got Crazy Town. Remember, come my baby, come, come my baby. You're my butterfly. Sugar, baby. Um, Shifty Shell Shock. Remember DJ Mr. C? Okay, we have uh, uh, Rich Homie Kwan, Frankie Beverly, Richard Simmons, the only white guy that I knew that could wear an afro. We got Shelly Duvall from Popeye in The Shining. Remember, she was olive oil. 90210, Sharon Dorothy. Hey, I'm not good with names, all right? And from Beverly Hills Cops, John Ashton. Donald Sutherland from the Hunger Games. We got O.J. Simpson, who killed the white woman. We got Richard Lewis, the comedian who wasn't funny. We got Carl Weathers. I always called him Apollo Creed. We got Lou Gossip Jr. I thought that he played in They Live, but he wasn't the bald-headed black dude. Who was the bald-headed black dude on They Live? Because I always thought that it was Lou Gossip Jr., but it wasn't. Toby Keith. A country singer. We used to listen to Kobe, uh, Toby Keith because in Rite of Passage, they used to play country, man. Chris, Chris Offerson. Now, this one right here, man. This one right here kind of got me a little sad because Abraham Whistler on Blade. Remember, he taught Blade how to take out them vampires. The Whistler, he died, man. Sergio Mendez from Brazil with the congas and the piano. All of them type of songs back in the day. That was Sergio Mendez. Maggie Smith, she taught Harry Potter now. She was, she was like the principal of Hogwarts or something like that, right? Is that what it's called, Hogwarts? Listen, listen, some more stuff too. All of them people that I just named died within the last six months, man. That is wild. And it's people that I haven't even put on the list because they just so old that I just say natural causes or whatever, right? But listen to this, right? An airplane crash near the Wright Brothers site kills five people. So the same place where they lied and said these two brothers invented the airplane is the same place that five people died over the weekend, man. You know what else happened? So a Navy SEAL, he goes to this college, right? This is in the news. A Navy SEAL goes to the college and he trained the college students for 45 minutes on the Navy SEAL program, right? So they was doing all of this Navy SEAL stuff for 45 minutes. And remember, these aren't old guys. These aren't lazy guys. They're on a lacrosse team, right? But yet, nine of them had to go to the hospital with life-threatening conditions. They worked out so hard that their muscles was continuing to break down. This can make a person have a heart attack and stuff like that. It is serious. This just shows that the generation, how old was those players from like 18, 18, 19, 20, 21, 18 to 22 is hella weak. They're hella weak. They couldn't even survive a 45 minute Navy SEAL training. I can't. I can't. 
And I know a few guys that can. I know a guy that can that's 50 years old. This is saying something, man. This is saying how damn weak they are, man. This new generation is damn weak. And I ain't saying every single body in the new generation is weak. I'm just saying. <laughs> this is how they bred us, man. To get weaker and weaker and weaker to where if a Navy SEAL come and train you, you probably die. Think about that, man. Think about all of these people names that I just said. They gone. Think about the Wright brothers, man. Everything is coming to light. When that plane crashed and those five people was unalive by the Wright brothers memorial, that spiritual, bro, this is how the spirit's talking. It's saying that all of that was a lie, and it's also saying you better stay off them damn airplanes. I'm telling you that right now. Now, let's get to the destruction. Oh, I'm rejoicing. Let's get to the destruction of the NPC breeding grounds, a.k.a. sundown towns. Every sundown town is an NPC breeding ground, man. Why you think you can't drive through them? That's crazy. That, that, that's ridiculous, right? They don't want you there because you're not them. If you're an original, you have no business being in the sundown town, according to them. Too many experiments, too much programming going on in them some sundown towns. Remember I told you that these serpent seed police officers, they come from sundown towns. Yeah, they might be riding the projects and Watts in Chicago and New Jersey and different things, but they not from Chicago. They not from O Block. They from some little small little town like Asheville, North Carolina. Rest in peace. Rest in pieces, man. That damn sundown town is gone. Understand that there's always one original in the sundown town. This is what keeps the Most High from destroying the damn town. Sodom and Gomorrah was a sundown town. Yes, it was. Them angels couldn't just go through that town without getting raped on. You had to be down with Sodom and Gomorrah to be in Sodom and Gomorrah, man. You hear what I'm saying? The Most High spared Sodom and Gomorrah because Lot and his family, Lot and his family was the token, the token to Sodom and Gomorrah. Remember, this is a gang, and we are the tokens that start the gang. The gang can't start without the token, baby. What color is the tokens? They're usually gold, man. You understand what I'm saying? Don't they call us the token? Don't they call the only melanated person in the group of non-melanated people the token? The token black kid? You understand what I'm saying? Asheville didn't have no tokens. They ran all the tokens out. Which means that if there's nobody that's real in a certain place, that place cannot exist. Now, it used to exist back in the days because Satan, he had a control of the planet and he could be anywhere. You hear what I'm saying? He can go to Asheville. He could set up shop in China. He can go anywhere. And all they really needed was one token. You hear what I'm saying? Now, the people in the town, the NPCs, they just think that this is life. They think that it's white supremacy. They think that this is the best town in the world. They never understood why, why, why Brother John and his Negro family was able to stay in that town. But the mayor of the town, no, and all the people that's up top, the government, of, the governor of the state, he know. Why the token is there. But once that token is removed, the game is over with, man. So you're looking at all of these towns that's being destroyed, just like Sodom and Gomorrah was destroyed. Not in the same way, but they're getting wiped 
off the map. Remember, Lot and his family was the only thing, the only ones that was keeping Sodom and Gomorrah from getting judged. So you got these sundown towns and they was able to get away with a lot of stuff for years and years and years. I mean, they literally get these people from these towns and put them around us. I'm telling you, this is where the NPCs, the serpent seeds and all of them crazy people who, who just pop up in these cities and become serial, serial unalivers who just go shoot up places and you see that they from these small towns, these are NPC breeding grounds. My boy said that at night, they wake up and they go to a place and then they get instructed like a town hall or an auditorium and they just get programmed and instructed and stuff like that. You hear what I'm saying? No more, man. No more. It's a wrap. I wouldn't even want to be a down sun, be around a down sundown town right now, man, because they are all being judged. They making it seem like it's a hundred and something people died up in this. Nah, that's just so that the NPCs and the ones who still got faith in the system will still have faith in the system and not realize that it's over with, man. It's over with, with their heart machines. That's why they can't tell you how strong the damn tornado or hurricane going to be. A lot of people in these sundown towns, they don't even prepare. Because their heart machine is broken. You know what their heart machine is? I already told you, the meteorologist. It's not this big machine that they're using to, to, to create the weather, smashing atom, things like that, man. It's the meteorologist. All of this is magic, man. I said, they tell you on Monday that it's going to rain on Friday. So we got all of that time to manifest rain. As soon as they tell us that it's going to rain on Friday, and even though it's Monday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, it's like they see in four days in the future, right? Come on now, they're, they're named meteorologist. And then they put it out there. As soon as we hear that it's going to rain on Friday, we start getting our rain boots ready, our umbrellas ready. Inside of our subconscious, we do. We believe it. And then it happens. Well, that's broken because that was their damn heart machine. We are their damn heart machine. We are the ones that did the rain dance. I told you when I was in Phoenix and we was about to have a party, I wanted pizza. My girl, she went with the neighbors to get the barbecue and all of that. The neighbors was cool and all of that. But I was really upset. I was so upset that a high boob came. A big dust storm came through Phoenix. Right then, within, within the hour that I was mad, it messed up the whole barbecue, man. You hear what I'm saying? So their heart machine, being able to use their magic and being able to size, size the earthquake or size the tornado, predict how much damage the hurricane is going to have. Uh-uh, that's broken. That's broken. This hurricane is coming at 100 miles per hour. They telling people that it's only coming at 20 miles per hour. Why do you think that all of the people in Asheville and damn near all of them did get deleted? It ain't just 150 damn people. Why do you think that they didn't leave? Because they had faith in their meteorologists. But their magic is broken. You hear what I'm saying? We the ones that make it rain, man. We the ones who look, come together and look and see that the land is dry and start doing our dances and doing what we need to do, putting our emotion up in it and stuff like that. And then it start raining, man. Not them, never. They can't create no damn machine. They don't know how to do stuff like that. 
You hear what I'm saying? They are so stupid that they think that Picasso is art, man. Go look at some Picasso art and tell me, can your daughter draw that? Your five-year-old daughter. Picasso draws like my son. This is what they like. This is how stupid they is. So don't think that these things can create some damn weather, man. You hear what I'm saying? It's over with. Everything is over with. We are literally witnessing the destruction of this matrix. The, cum the crumbling of the matrix, man. I'm liking it too. I'm not going to even lie. Ever since 2020, I've been coming up. I look on my left, it's a thousand dying. I look on my right, it's 10,000 dying. But me and my family, man, we ate meatloaf and potatoes. Corn on the cob, man. It's some Kool-Aid last night. I ain't tripping. Why isn't, why isn't Compton messed up? Why O Block not messed up? Why, why the places where they film New Jersey Drive ain't messed up? Like I say, the Poking Bean Projects, why they not messed up? Why are all of these honest, hardworking, American flag flying, firework popping, turkey carving people getting wiped off the map? You hear what I'm saying? Wouldn't you think that the Most High would say, you know what? That East Atlanta. Oh, that East Atlanta. And take out Atlanta? Wouldn't you think that he would take out, just take out Long Beach? The east side of Long Beach? With all of those thugs running around, with all of those guns and drugs? Man, I can't find out one place that you would call a ghetto with projects and stuff. That's touched by any of this, man. Open up your eyes and see, man. Before I go, let me tell you three people that curse themselves by participating in something that was either stronger than them or a complete lie. This ain't got nothing to do with the weather. I'm done with that. We're witnessing the end of the NPCs. We're witnessing the end of Satan's kingdom. Rejoice, man, because once all of this is washed away, oh, you know how many plumogram trees I'm going to plant? You know how many loquat trees I'm going to plant? You know how many trees I'm going to plant? I'm going to just go all around planting trees, man. All of the concrete, we're going to dig it up. There's not going to be no concrete around us. And everything that's not getting used for a road, I mean, I'm talking about every piece of soil is going to have something to eat up in there. You hear what I'm saying? We're not going to, we're not going to waste no soil. And if the soil is some Phoenix type desert sand soil, we're going to just turn it into some, into some, and if it's some Phoenix dirt, we're going to turn it into some good soil, man. Trust me, we know how to do that. You hear what I'm saying? Three people, man. They not here no more. And they was judged. I'm going to make a whole video about this. One person is Christopher Reeve. Is that his name? Superman. Is that his name, Christopher Reeve? He played Superman. But he wasn't Superman. Because Superman don't look nothing like him. So he fell off a horse. And he became the opposite of Superman. He was paralyzed from here on down. I mean, is that a coincidence, man? What about the little girl on Poltergeist? They're back. She was talking about something. But that something was too powerful, man. And she was out of here. Now, let me tell you about somebody who participated in a lie. What's the guy's name who played the Black Panther? Who played Jackie Robinson? That guy. He's no more, right? They said he had colon cancer or something. That's because he played in a lie. The Black Panther. It's a lie. There's no Panthers that's black in Africa. 
the Black Panther was a movement that was created here, actually by women, but then it moved to Oakland and stuff like that. The Black Panther that we know that was created here was created in Oakland, but there is a backstory to that. The Black Panther is in South America, man. So how can this dude make us all believe that the Black Panther is an African thing? Although Stan Lee created it and manipulated people and all of that, did Stan Lee create it? I'm not sure. Let's just say Stan Lee created it. Manipulation, but he participated in it. When I think about the Black Panther movie, I think about him. That was a lie, man. It was so big enough of a lie that somebody had to pay for that. I hope I didn't get you upset with saying that, but everybody ain't from Africa. I, don't, I ain't from Africa. I don't feel that none of my people was from Africa. I cannot find an African in none of the African countries that look like me and my relatives. I can't, man. I tried. I can find some tribes that look like a couple of people that's here. You hear what I'm saying? Whether those, whether those people came from Africa, Jamaica, Hades, the Dominican Republic, whatever. I'm talking about the people here. The people like me. All of us ain't from Africa. The, the, the world was populated with melanated people every damn way. And you know when I look at the natives, man, that's in Phoenix and New Mexico. They look like Chinese, a lot of them, man. A lot of them look, a lot of them look Asian, man. And I'm talking about looking at them right here, shaking their head, talking to them. You hear what I'm saying? A lot of them wear glasses and stuff. I don't see how they was how they was good hunters and stuff when a lot of them wear glasses, man. That's all I'ma say, man. The destruction of the NPC breeding ground is at Hey, all of them cops that's arresting people and harassing people and all that, they mothers and they grandfathers and stuff is getting washed away right now. Believe it or not, man, a lot of the LAPD sheriff, I mean, the LAPD, a lot of the LA sheriffs, a lot of the Oakland, Oakland police departments, they not from there. They from Asheville. In places like that, you best believe it. All praises to the Most High. Thank you to everybody that like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thank you to the brother Shaved Lion King. Thanks for sharing, man. Peace.